Hi, Young Minds. I am Technical Sergeant Anthony Moss. Um, I am a biomedical equipment technician. That means I work on hospital equipment. I repair everything that you see in the doctor's office from blood pressure cuffs to defibrillators to x-ray machines, everything. Part of my job, big part of my job, is electronics. So today, we're going to talk about some electronics. Some of the things that you're going to get in your kit today, LEDs. A coin battery and copper tape. Other things you're going to need include some construction paper, some scissors, and maybe some markers. Our next step is going to be opening all of our supplies that we received in our kit, spreading them neatly out on the table. Now we'll need to open our coin battery. You can simply press it through the back pops right out of the package. Now, step three, we're going to test our LEDs. There's a simple way to test them by sliding the LED onto the coin better. If you do it backwards, it does not light up. You need to put the long end of the LED wires on the positive side of the battery and the short end on the negative side of the battery and your LED will light up as so. Make sure you test all 10 of your LEDs before you get started. We don't want any bad LEDs on our cards now, do we? First things first, we want to create a card. I have one right here. Next, we're gonna add some LEDs to the card, some copper tape, and lastly, our power source. Step two is going to actually be placing the LEDs inside your car. To do this, you want to hook your LEDs all the way through the car so the wires come out the other end. Simply bend the wires out like a brad and your LED will stay put. Next, we're going to take some of our copper tape and we're going to place it in two circles around the inside of your card, contacting both the negative and the positive sides without the two circles touching. So first, I'm going to make our outside circle. Measure that out roughly. Snip that off we will peel off some of our copper tape. This one's going to be for the negative side. And we will place that right there. And then we will get a smaller strip for the inside circle for our positive side. Now, obviously you don't want to start with your copper tape until you've placed all of your LEDs so that you can have a pattern but this is just a demonstration. So we'll poke through the rest of our LEDs. And we'll finish up our card. When placing your LEDs, always be sure that all of your negatives are touching the same circle and all of your positives are touching the same circle. So on the top, your negative is going to be on the top of the card. On the bottom of the card, your negative is going to be on the bottom of the card. So that the negative only touches the negative rail. This is what we call it in the electronics field.
Once you've finished applying all of your LEDs to your card, it may look something like this. Again, you can see on each one of these, I have the positive and the negative wires separated so that I can build a rail around the outside for the negative, and I can build a rail on the inside for the positive. The next step is going to be connecting all of the positive ends of the LEDs with the copper tape and all of the negative ends of the LEDs with the copper tape. If you need to use more than one strip, that's okay. You can overlap the copper tape and it will work just fine. When you peel the backing off the copper tape, sometimes it likes to coil. One thing that I like to do is to peel a little bit off. Turn my copper tape over, apply one end of it, reach underneath, pull the bottom out, and apply the tape as you go along. Again, making sure that you don't cross the rails. Once you have both your rails completed, it will look something like this. The negative rail and the positive rail. The next step is going to be to make a small loop with your copper tape so that we can stick the battery to the card. We make a loop with the sticky side on the outside. apply this to either the positive or negative side of the battery. I'm going to apply it to the positive side of the battery and place it on the positive rail. If you choose to put your loop of tape on the negative side of the battery, be sure to put it on the negative rail. Now I'm going to make a switch for our battery. To do that, we need to connect the negative rail to the negative side of the battery, but we're not going to use the adhesive side, we're going to use the non-adhesive side so that we can turn it on and off. For this I'm going to cut a small strip of paper. to apply the copper tape where I have enough to contact the negative rail and then I'm going to fold it over to the back side to contact the battery. So where it contacts the battery it will not be sticky so that we can simply remove that and turn it off. negative side. I'll use a little piece of paper here so that it doesn't stick to the card. I'll fold it around the paper. Now, we should be able to close our circuit like so and light up our LEDs. That finishes up lesson for today. Thank you for participating in the STEM mini-series. We hope you have enjoyed. Have a pleasant day.